Hi there, my name is Melissa and I am a French teacher. I like to use Quizlet in the classroom and, uh, and I encourage my students to use it at home. It's a great study resource. We even use Quizlet Live, but for a change, I like to also use Kahoot. Kahoot just seems a little bit more fun and competitive. The problem is getting all of my Quizlet terms over to Kahoot very easily. Um, so this is the kind of workaround that I found and I hope it can help you. The first step is to make sure you get your Kahoot template. I'm going to show you how to use it in Google Drive. I'm pretty sure everything will translate to Excel. You might just have to figure out a couple of the buttons um, yourself. So download the template. Here's my template right here. The first thing I've done is made sure to just do a whole bunch of ones did a whole bunch of ones because one is going to be the first column is where all of our correct answers will be. Next, so we're gonna get the terms. And so all you have to do is click export. Here's the first mistake that you might make. And that is to click this copy text button and go right from there and then click paste. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with pasting, you can right click and click paste or you can do Command-V if you're on a Mac or Control-V if you're on a PC. But the bottom line is that just clicking that button does not work. Do not only click that button. You must click the button, and even though it says copied, don't stop there. Do Control-C now, or Command-C, or even right-click and click Copy, and then go to your template, click the cell, and voila, okay? <laughs> we have the terms in two nice columns. This is what we want. Now, I have the French term and then the English definition. If at this point you want the English definition to pop up, then all you would have to do is flip them. In fact, what I would do is put it in the second column and then cut from the third column and then paste to the first column. So that would have the French, um, the English come up on your screen on the projector, and then the students would have to choose between the French definitions. It really doesn't matter which one you do for this example. So next, um, all you need to do to generate wrong answers, because that's really why Quizlet and, and Kahoot don't mix, it's because Kahoot, uh, Quizlet just has the one right answer. Kahoot needs one to three incorrect answers. So you're going to paste here. Now don't go on to paste in the other columns yet. Right after you paste, it's already selected. Right click and click randomize range. I don't know what the extension, um, like what the button is, where that randomize range button is in Excel. I do know it's there somewhere. So um, pasting, oops, oopsie, and this is why I'm going to just paste it again uh, because I like it's already all selected for me. I right click, right randomize range, paste, right click, and randomize range. So now I have uh, the term with the correct definition in the first column, which is why I have number one on all of them, and then three incorrect definitions. Um, and you might be wondering now correctly, I sure hope that I didn't randomly put the correct answer again in one of these columns. And that is a uh, valid fear, especially if you ruin a student's streak in Kahoot. It is not fun. So I would recommend looking through each column to just make sure this is the correct answer and it's not repeated a second time in the incorrect answer columns. I'm going to show you another way to do this so that um, you can completely avoid that terrible situation to begin with. So if you have enough terms, and in this set I had 80, which would make a terrible Kahoot game. Don't use 80 different terms. I'm going to copy again. I'm going to not just click that button. That's just really to highlight all the words. Copy, paste, I mean, control C or command C. Um, we're going to go here. Command um, V. So again, the problem is you don't want to play a game where uh, where you have a typo in it, where there's two correct answers. 
and a game with 80 terms is um, great. Uh, well, a, a set with 80 terms is really nice for being able to have a lot of extra wrong definitions. So let's just play here with the first 20 of them. The, the I'm using 21 because we know that the first one, I didn't take out the template question. And now I'm going to grab 20 uh, answers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to cut. So this is Command X or Control X. I'm going to paste it over here. So we know that these are not going to be correct answers. I'm going to grab another 20. Oops. Try that again. Cut and paste. And then I'm going to grab my last ones. I think I'm going to be one short, but that is okay because we can easily just copy that one and have a double wrong answer. That is fine. So we have the the a word that's going to be projected on the board. We have the correct word in column one, and it says one on all of them. And then we have three incorrect words. And um, you can go, you can also do it the other way. But again, if you have 80 terms, I would recommend you break that up into a couple different um, games. You can even do a combination of using some of the wrong terms, uh, some of the extra terms in one of those games, and then do the second half of your definitions in another game. You can make a couple different Kahoot's, Kahoot games right from one Quizlet set. Uh, so that's what I'm planning on doing. Oh, and, and just in case you forget, remember that you, um, you're going to download this as an Excel, or if it's already an Excel file, you just save it, and then you are going to select the file and upload it to Kahoot. Um, this is what I'm planning on doing so that I can just vary the types of activities that I do in the classroom. It's nice to do Quizlet Live, but it's also nice to have something that the students are maybe familiar with in their other classes. This is how it would work for um, a world language. It's not exactly the best type of uh, testing tool. It's not, it's certainly not evaluating any higher order thinking skills for having a student look at the word actif and needing to choose between some obviously wrong answers, but is it nice to uh, nice for a change? Is it a nice activity that can include your content and still be um, fun in the classroom? Yes. And um, so that's why I'm going to use it. And if this helps you, uh, you know, like and share and follow and all that, my, my other videos um, are not high tech by any means. Um, I've, I've made uh, grammar uh, video explanations um, based on the University of Texas's uh, curriculum, the Français Interactif, and I, I really love what they've made. So all my videos go with that, and they, again, please be nice, <laughs> there, it's not anything high tech. And I'm, I'm just like this video, I'm just trying to help a fellow teacher out and let me know if uh, this helped you out. Okay? Bonne chance et bon courage.